Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys have probably seen this Be a Nice Human sweatshirt three times now. This is the third time. However, I'm recording a couple videos today because I'm trying to get some done because we have some things going on. But anyway, let's get into this unboxing of the Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate. It's ultimately sucky in my opinion. So I'm going to show you guys why I will never purchase this again unless they've changed. They change it up dramatically and I'll just watch other people's videos in the future to see if they change it up dramatically but right now so far i think this box is terrible in my opinion especially for the price that you're paying for it this is 50 dollars i was like what I, this is what i get for 50 bucks i'll get me a fab fit fun for 50 bucks because this is not so good so anyway let me show you guys everything inside of here all right so when you first open it up it says discover yourself and it does have their little foam insert in here to help to kind of keep everything protected so the first thing that you see in here is the little Betty Boop bag, which we get one in our regular Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I think everybody's getting the same one in your regular Ipsy as well. I think this is just one that they're doing for everybody, that everybody gets the same one, which I'm not upset about the bag, to be honest with you, because I think this bag is really cute. I love the detail to it. It's like that pleathery type of material here. And then it's got the sparkles. No, what are those called? Sequins. <laughs> It's got a sequence here, and then it's got a little heart zipper detail to it, and I think it's just a cute one. I'm taking my other one, and I'm going to stick it in my purse and use it for Shark Week products. Maybe I'll use both of them in my purse. Need lots of Shark Week products. So the first thing I see in here are some Farrah brushes. We keep getting this brand of brushes, and I'll be honest with you, I don't think they're that great of brushes. I'm like, why do you keep sending these brushes? Give us some Moto ones. Give us some... I don't know, like Luxie ones. What happened to getting Luxie brushes? We used to get a lot of Luxie brushes. I just don't think this Fair brand is that great. I feel like the ferrules to these is a little bit chintzy. The brushes themselves, like the, the actual bristles and everything, I don't think they're that fantastic. So, and they, the value for these is always completely outrageous. So let me tell you what it says the value of these is. Actually, that's the other thing. I had to go through my little pamphlet little pamphlet that they gave me and find the prices myself because when you look at your little pamphlet they give you they don't even give you the prices so a little bit sketchy there let's see so this is the midnight trio pro trio brush set so these are 48 dollars is what i found the price to be on their website i would never pay 48 dollars for these brushes and i would never recommend you guys pay 48 dollars for these brushes i'm not even excited to get them in a subscription box so Stop giving us these Farrah brushes. I don't think they're that great. So go back to the Luxie ones or give us some Moda ones. Modas are really good. The Luxie ones are fantastic. So just a little bit of a rant there. The next thing is this right here. This is the Obsidian Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner by Kaleido Cosmetics. Now this is kind of exciting. I wish they would have given us a different color than a typical black. But I mean, I understand why they do that because not everybody likes colorful liner. But I feel like we get so many black liners and mascaras in our subscription boxes that it's kind of ridiculous. So let me tell you a little bit about this product here. So it says the Kaleido Cosmetics Obsidian Waterproof Liquid Liner is known for creating fun, fearless products that deliver rich pigments and high quality formulas. This waterproof liquid liner lasts all day no matter how many raindrops, tears, or beads of sweat come your way. Shake this liner first. It's $8, which that is a bonus for sure because it's only 8 bucks. So if it is fantastic once I've tried it out, then I can purchase it because it's not going to be like breaking the bank or anything. But honestly, I just wish they would change it up and give us some different colors. That would be really cool, especially for getting an ultimate box. I mean, they should all know that we're makeup lovers. If you're getting an ultimate box, we're makeup lovers. We probably got a black liner or two laying around. The next one is this right here. So this is something that was another disappointing thing. We've got this before. This is the Good Vibes Mascara with the Curler, and I did not like this product. This is from Tristique. I don't like this product because the lash curler on this is weird. It's like at the top of the mascara, so you have to like curl your lashes with it, and it's like straight across. It's a weird, it's got a little bit of a curve to it, but it's just weird to use on your eyes. I don't think it works that way. I think the mascara is mediocre at best, so for me, I just... I was not excited to get this again because especially since we just recently got that in an Ipsy bag, I was like, come on, Ipsy. This is why I'm not going to purchase another one. So, okay, let me find the price on this. What in the heck? It's not even included in here. I don't know why it's not included. So this says not for sale too. So I wonder if this was just like a bonus. I don't know. 
either way it's not in there but we do have it and I'm not going to use it so the next thing is from pharmacy this is the green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm this was the thing that I was most excited about because I've had this before I purchased it actually because I know a lot of people got it in their subscription box and I really wanted to try it and I was like I'm just going to purchase it because I really want to try it out I love it hey come back here so this is the Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. So basically it's just a balm that you put onto your skin after you've... Oh, it comes with a little spatula too. That's cool. And then it's green. And it smells a little bit like... I don't know. It smells like lemongrass in my opinion. It smells a little bit like lemongrass. So it smells really nice. It does melt all your makeup off. I enjoyed this one. I purchased it myself. So I'm happy to have another one since I've used mine completely up. And this is, for me, the most exciting thing in the box. Where's the price? Come on. Holy smokes. Okay, here we go. This is the packed with farm grown ingredients like sunflower and ginger root oils and moringa and papaya extracts. This multitasking cleanser balm melts your makeup impurities to reveal smooth glowing skin and it smells divine. I totally agree. $34. So at least I got $34 worth back out of my 50 that I spent on this box. That makes me happy. The next thing is the Ipsy and Betty Boop Cheek to Cheek Blush Palette. So I got the eye palette in my Glam Bag Plus. Yes. So I'm kind of happy that we got a set of these. But honestly, I don't know. I just don't like when Ipsy kind of like does their own makeup. They do an okay job at it, but I don't think they do fantastic. This to me looks like a Smashbox, one of their little trios. It's got both of these here look like more highlighters than they do blushes. This is the only one that to me truly looks like a blush because both of these have a little bit of satin type of texture to them. So I'll try them out and everything, but they look very pale as well. So I don't think this is going to work for every skin tone. Is mine? My mirror is like popping out, I think. Do you hear it? What the heck? Oh, great. The mirror's going to fall out and I'm going to have like seven years bad luck. Hey, don't break. Anyway, so this is in the box as well. I don't think that color, like I said, is going to work for everybody because I feel like it's a little too fair. So this is $12. So it's not super expensive. However, again, I don't love Ipsy's collaborations that they do because I don't think they're the best at makeup. Give us some makeup brands that actually already exist, in my opinion. I like when they, I don't know. I'm a little picky today, I'll be honest. The next thing is something I already own. This is the Huda Beauty Warm of warm brown obsessions palette i already own this i own all of the huda beauty ones except for the newest ones that they just recently come out with i don't own any of those i do like this palette a lot so if i personally would not would not have owned this palette already then i would have loved to have gotten in here so that would have made me really happy and this is a 29 dollars palette but it's perfect for travel because it's nice and small and compact like it fits in the palm of your hand it's like a perfect like size of a palette and you get non shades in here and the pan sizes are actually really good so this is a good palette if I wouldn't have already owned it, that would have made me really happy. The next thing is this right here. This is the Leu, Leu, I look fancy, pinky out guys. Leu Serum Sion Hadront. Am I, yeah, I'm doing it in the language that they're, it's only printed on here. The ultimate hydration skincare with Fleck Filmelex. I don't know. And Fro, I, I can't even pronounce these words, okay? It's a moisturizer basically, it looks like. So let's see what it says about this in the little pamphlet. <clears throat> it says, this intensive hydrating serum by Biorace look, locks in moisture and keeps your skin soft and supple. Ideal for all skin types. It enhances your complexion instantly and can be applied to the entire face after cleansing. This is $61.99. Holy smokes. I've never heard of this brand, but this is another thing that I'm, I'm like mediocre excited about. So I'll give it a shot and everything and I'll let you guys know about it. But I don't know. I'm just like... That's a pretty expensive skincare. I'm like, thank you. Okay, moving on. Now we're at the Sila. This is the creme de la creme, the very best creme. <laughs> the very best cream. What is this? From seed to skin, this is massage into your skin as often as desired. Let's see what it smells like. I want to smell it. Let's smell it. Put a little, oh, come on. I'll put it over my blush. like very citrusy like the more you rub it that you can definitely tell it smells very citrusy so it smells really nice it seems like it's going to be pretty hydrating as well this is not a full size though i don't think it looks like more of a deluxe size and for 50 dollars, i don't want a bunch of deluxe sizes but it says this is 15 dollars for the size of this holy smokes 
Well, that's the price that I figured out anyway from looking at their website. This velvety rich body cream is infused with a potent blend of six Canadian botanicals and nourishing antioxidants, vitamins, and omega acids to boost your skin's resilience. Mood lifting grapefruit oil perks the skin senses. I don't, it smells like a creamsicle a little bit. It has more of like a vanilla undertone to it in my opinion. So I'll give it a shot. We'll try it out. Then we have this right here. This is the eggplant clearing mud mask. So this is a papaya recipe. It says papaya recipe. Oh, what in the world is this? The value for this is $6.25. Using nature's best ingredients, this creamy clay mask says it's a mud mask. This says mud mask and this says clay mask. Clay is different than mud, right? Wait, is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little loopy today. I'm loopy. I'm loopy. With a slightly greeny texture, uses eggplant extract to smooth, soothe, and exfoliate, setting your skin up for a bright, clear future. So like I said, $6.25 for this. I'll give it a shot. I'm going to try all these products with my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus items that I'm trying out. And I'll let you guys know how these worked out for me. But you won't see another one of these next month because I'm not getting another one. I will tell you that already up front. It's not happening. The next thing in here is from Sest Me Moi. This is the Reflect Lip Gloss. It's a brilliant lip gloss and it's in the shade Opulence. Ooh, let's see what this looks like. Okay, it looks like purple gray. That's a very interesting shade for a lip gloss. Huh, let's see what it says about it. Okay, I feel like I'm like trying to read a map here. Uh, this is $7.99. It says, Sestamoy believes that being you is the purest definition of beauty. Enriched with a blend of natural and organic oils, this nourishing gloss delivers a subtle, everyday shimmer and a whole lot of shine with zero stickiness. Let's see. Let's put some on. Let's put it on. Let's get out. Oh, wow. Okay. Definitely don't knock it before you try it because... This is not sticky at all. Like it literally has no tackiness to it at all. What does it smell like? Nada. Smells like nothing. So, okay. That's a pretty good one. And that again, what did I say that price of that one was? $7.99. So that's not super expensive either. Then we have some sheet masks here. We have the Natural Shea Butter Mask Sheet by the same. And then we have the Natural Avocado Mask Sheet. So we have these two sheet masks here and the value for these is, holy smokes, $2.76. So $2.76 each for these. Um, this is the same as a beloved Korean brand that strives to create the effect of skincare products using natural derived ingredients. The set of avocado and shea butter sheet masks deeply nourishes skin and delivers healthy hydration. Okay. That sounds interesting. So I'm excited actually to try these out because my skin could definitely use some hydration. So we'll try those out. All right, last two items in here, guys. So the first one is the Unicorn Glow. This is a hydrating primer. So here's what the primer looks like. It's a teeny tiny little one. So let's see what it looks like when you put it on. I, I can't get the safety seal off. Safety dance. All right, put the lid back on. It looks like a little tube of toothpaste. Okay, it doesn't smell like anything. I only smell the one that smells like a creamsicle still. I don't see where it's super glowy or anything. It feels like a serum. It's a little, a little sticky feeling. Could be mixing it with a lotion though. That could have made it feel sticky as well. So let's see what this says. Uh, this fun loving brand features artful packaging and smart formulas using hydrolyzed collagen. This gel-like primer gives your skin a major moisture boost to create smooth canvas for a long-lasting makeup. So it's not like that kind of glow. It's not going to be like like an Ofra Cosmetics like highlighter glow. It's more of like glowing because your skin is moisturized. So I understand now. This is $4 for this little sample size. So that's pretty cool. I'll have to try that out because you guys know, like I said, my skin is really dry. So it can definitely use some hydration. Then we have a colored green eyeshadow. Is this? Yeah, it's part of the package. Color Rain Eyeshadow, and it's in Champagne Life. So let's see what it looks like. I thought maybe this was an add-on for a second because I know I did buy some add-ons like this before in my Ipsy bag. So this is what the color looks like. What is it called? Champagne Life. So there's what it looks like. It's just basically a champagne color. And let's give her a little swatch. We'll do a Jeffree Star swatch. 
Ooh, that's actually really pretty. Okay, I'm not hating it. That's really pretty. This is, this velvety smooth and vegan shadow is blendable, richly pigmented and long wearing. So your eye look will stay strong from day to night. The best part, the foil finish. Champagne hue looks so good on all skin tones. It's $7 for a little uh, single shadow. So that's a really pretty color though. It's kind of looks like gold, but it's got like a little bit of a green undertone. So it's pretty. So I'm excited about that as well. But honestly, for $50, I just feel like a little bit cheated. Do you guys feel the same way about this box? Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just because I'm used to getting things that are just better. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I'm just not very impressed by this one at all. So I'm not going to get it next month. Maybe they can improve on it over the next few months. And then maybe I'll try it again. But for now, I'm not going to get it again. Let me know if you got this box as well. Did you enjoy the products? Did you get the same products I did? Because how do you feel the value is then? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.